Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing the Corpse Party OVA series. I am very familiar with the series. I watched so many YouTubers do a let's play of the PSP game. Going into this, I just expect the OVA series to follow the true ending of the PSP game, but surprisingly, it went down a much darker path. In this OVA series, a group of students and a teacher are having a farewell party for one student there. The party takes place late at night. During the party, they decide to perform a ritual so that they'll stay friends forever. They use paper charms to perform a ritual, but something goes wrong, and they are transported to a creepy abandoned elementary school where many people have been murdered. Now they are trapped in a school where vengeful ghosts are after them. They must escape before the ghosts kill them. I was quite surprised by a low score on my anime list. It didn't even get a 7 on there. I figured it probably didn't get a high score because it was rushed and skipped over important events. After watching the OVA series, it did feel like it skipped over a lot of information regarding the investigation of the ghosts. It has been a while since I've seen a Let's Play, but that was the thing that was sticking out to me. Lots of the clues seem skipped over in this OVA series, which makes sense since it's only 4 episodes long. I still found the OVA series enjoyable to watch though. It was probably one of the darkest and most messed up series I've seen in a while. The way some of the characters got killed made me sick to my stomach. I've seen lots of messed up death scenes, but the deaths in this OVA series were so brutal. It was a really scary OVA series because you never know when the ghost will appear to tear the characters apart. Surprisingly though, it wasn't a ghost that scared me the most. It was the character Kizami. He was so creepy and killed people in most painful ways. It is very disturbing seeing him kill. The OVA series went for the darkest ending, which I liked. I'm glad it wasn't just a rehash of the PSP game. It was its own thing. However, characters seem to die at times just make the OVA series seem really dark. Like, one death seemed so random and hard to believe. It was just so disappointing to watch. It's like, really? The mystery aspect of this OVA series was pretty good. Even though the OVA series was only 4 episodes long, it was able to explain how people got trapped at the school, what happened to the ghost heir, and the true mastermind behind everything. It was quite easy to understand and didn't feel too rushed. The characters were hit or miss for me. Some characters I really liked, while I found others boring to watch. I really like the character Kizami because he made for such a creepy character. He's a perfect fit for an OVA series like this. He's one of the craziest anime characters I have ever seen. Shows no mercy towards anyone. Satoshi is an average anime protagonist. He's just a boring nice guy. Seiko was a funny character to watch. She was so energetic and said weird things at times. I found Naomi just boring to watch. Nothing intriguing about her character. Yoshiki was a cool guy. He definitely helped his friends when they needed him the most. The opening song for his OVA series was okay. There wasn't much of an ending song since it was just credits. The music throughout was pretty creepy. The image style looked good. The image looked alright. I definitely recommend to watch this OVA series if you like mystery and horror anime series. The mystery was intriguing, and this is one of the darkest anime series I've seen in a while. There were actually scary moments in this OVA series that actually got me creeped out. I can't believe one of the death scenes made me feel so sad and scared. I give this OVA series a 7 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.